Welcome collectors, in today's video we will be taking a look at the Fire Replica's Mac B61 single axle tractor in red over black. In total, Fire Replica's produced five different color options, the green over red, black over red, yellow over black, blue and orange, and of course this version, the red over black. The Mac B series truck was produced by Mac trucks between 1953 and 1966 and was subsequently replaced with the beloved Mac R model. All right, as we always do, let's begin with the unboxing and I'll show you how to do it because with Fire Up, because models, there's a very specific order in which you have to go about to properly unbox your truck to ensure that no damage occurs. But to the outer box, you can see that there's fire replicas right on the front of it. If we turn it to one side, you'll see the item number, which in this case is FR for fire replicas 101-1. Let's turn the box over where we'll find all of our copyright information, which of course, this is all relevant and important. Fire Replicas, copyright 2021, Fire Replicas LLC, www.firereplicas.com. Not suitable for children under 14 years, may contain small parts made in China. And over here it reads, the Mac trademarks and Bulldog hood ornaments are registered rights of the AB Volvo Group and are used pursuant to a license. With that done and out of the way, I'll show you how to unbox this. So Fire Replicas models for the most part have this flip open style packaging. So the first step you need to do is, well, flip it open. First thing you'll see inside is this instructional sheet, which for beginners shows you the step-by-step -step process of how to do this. So very quickly here, first, carefully remove all the foam packing material from the top and sides. Second, use the ribbons to lift the entire unit by the base. Do not lift by the cover. Finally, lift off the cover slowly and remove interior packaging materials carefully to avoid any damage to the cover and the replica. There you go. I will also demonstrate step-by-step -step how to do that. Here you go. Let's remove these pieces. That's the top. This is the front. This is the side. That leaves us with the truck and the lifting strap ribbons. So we are going to lift up very carefully here. Make sure we grab everything that we need to. We're gonna lift up on the ribbons, which grabs the box. I always like to, just as a double safety measure, lift by the ribbons, stick my hand underneath just to make sure if the ribbon strap should have to break, which they never have, I always have my arm underneath just in case of emergency. So now we have the truck out of the box. We're gonna take a short break. When we come back, we'll have the model on the spin table and we will begin our review. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this short break. Welcome back, everyone, and thank you for sticking with me. As you can see, we now have the Mac B61 on the review table so that we can begin our review. As with most Fire Replicas models, this was in development for well over 12 months, and it includes hundreds of intricately detailed parts that are cast or fabricated, painted and decorated, and then trimmed. If you go on the Fire Replicas website, you will find different pictures and steps of how these are assembled and put together in the assembly line, and quite honestly, it's pretty entertaining and fascinating to see just how much craftsmanship goes into producing each and every one of these. Now, obviously, you can display your model with the included display case cap, which it's mounted on the base, or if you want to, you can remove it. And that allows us to get a much better look at the truck, of course. Now, disclaimer here, you can remove the truck from the base by cutting through the fabric, which will expose two screws. I, however, never recommend doing that because you will significantly decrease the overall value of your investment of your model. However, it's your money. You can do with it whatever that you will, that you want to after, of course, you purchase it. But I never recommend that. But the option is there that you can remove this from the base of the two screws right here to pose it with some trailers. Which leads me into my next statement, trailers. A number of years ago, there was a company called Dan's Custom Models that produced trailers from around this same time period. Now, they're a little bit hard to find now, but if you scour the internet for a few hours, you're likely to come across some. And definitely they will line up and work with the fifth wheel on this Fire Replicas tractor. Just a little side note there for those that may be interested in picking up a tractor, or excuse me, those that may be interested for picking up a trailer to go behind this tractor. Okay, as for the model's specifics. 
It is mounted on a base with a stainless steel name badge, which reads Mac B61 single axle tractor, which looks very, very good. Very nicely presented. On the front of the truck, you can see that it has steel stirrup steps, which are thin and to scale. It has stainless hood latches and door handles here and here, respectfully. You can also see the mirrors, which also look very good. The running lights, the horns, of course, the Mack Bulldog on the front. There's your grill. Your turn indicators also look thin and to scale. Continuing on, it has the detailed Mack green interior, which obviously on camera, it's difficult to pick that up. But if you were to look at this model in person, you will be able to see it. If we look at the front axle and specifically the front tires, you will notice the stainless Mack logo hub covers right here, which in my opinion look absolutely benevolent with the red in the background. It really makes it come out and look very good. On the fuel tank, you can see that it has stainless steps and diamond plate decking, which again looks good. You can also see the cap for the top of the tank. The battery box straps are also there, which look very good. Turning around to the rear of the truck, you can see that the mud flaps are rubber and flexible. The tread pattern is different on both tires, and you'll notice the tires at the rear are significantly thicker than those at the front. There's the aforementioned fifth wheel. Again, your diamond plating texturing detail. Moving towards the rear, you'll see the steel mud flaps with authentic decals that I mentioned before, which again, the steel mud flaps are not steel. They're just ha they're a rubber-like material. Uh, and then you have your Mac license plate here. You have multi-piece lighting with etched bulb details for your tail lights, which again, if you look, they have the red, but then they have the covers, which are a silver. Turning around to the side, it's very much like the other side, except for you have your uh, side-mounted air cleaner and then your exhaust over here. If I didn't mention this already, forgive me, but on the back of the truck, you have the individual air lines attached to the pogo stick. And again, these air lines are thin and they are a flexible-like material, so it really gives the model dimension and a 3D-like feel to it when you have these lines that are not part of the casting. They actually are a separate piece that comes out. So that will do it for my review of the Fire Replica's B61 single axle tractor. At the time that I'm filming this review, all five color variations are currently available from Ed's Diecast Shed, which did help with some consulting for this project. Uh, great model. No question about it. They will look great with some vintage trailers if you wish to take them off the base, or they'll look equally as good at home in the display case in their cover and, at st and staying on top of their base. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll catch you in the next review.